If you've been following the Linux world lately, you've probably heard about something called the Cosmic Desktop. It's new, modern, and built completely from scratch. And it might just redefine what we expect from a Linux desktop environment. But what exactly is Cosmic? Who's behind it? And how does it compare to big names like KDE, Plasma, or GNOME? Let's dive deep into everything you need to know. So let's start from the beginning. Cosmic is a brand new desktop environment developed by System76, the same company that makes the popular pop, underscore, OS Linux distribution, and open source laptops. Originally, Cosmic wasn't its own desktop. It was just a customized GNOME shell with tiling features and tweaks made for pop, underscore, OS users. But System76 decided to take a bold step forward instead of modifying GNOME forever. They decided to build their own desktop from the ground up, and that's how the new Cosmic was born. Now, this isn't just a new theme or a shell layer. The new Cosmic is being written entirely in Rust, one of the most secure and efficient programming languages out there. That means it has not only fast, but also safer and less prone to crashes and memory leaks compared to older desktop frameworks. It S being built using Iced for the user interface and Smitha for the Wayland compositor and that S a big deal because it S Wayland first by design. No more legacy baggage from the X11 days. It's made for modern systems. When you first boot into Cosmic, you'll immediately notice something different. The design is simple, fresh, and focused. There's a clean top panel, a beautiful dock at the bottom, and a smart workspace overview that feels intuitive. It is clearly inspired by modern desktop environments, but has its own identity. It is not trying to copy Windows, Mac OS, or GNOME. Instead, it feels like a thoughtful mix between functionality and minimalism. One of COSMIC's biggest selling points is built-in tiling window management. If you've ever used a tiling window manager like i3 or HyperEnd, you'll know how productive they can be, but they're often intimidating for new users. Uh, cosmic changes that you can tile windows automatically, move them with simple shortcuts, or choose to keep some floating for flexibility. It's a hybrid approach, productivity like a tiling manager, comfort like a traditional desktop. And here is where it gets really interesting. Cosmic lets you customize your workflow in ways that most modern desktops stand. T. You can switch between floating and tiling modes instantly organize windows per workspace, and adjust layouts visually instead of editing text configs. It's fast, it's clean, and it feels designed for users who want both control and simplicity. Performance-wise, Cosmic is incredibly lightweight because it's written in Rust, it's fast even on mid-range hardware, animations feel smooth, switching between workspaces is instant, and memory usage is surprisingly low, even lower than GNOME on the same hardware in early tests. And since it's built for Wayland, you get better multi-monitor support, high DPI scaling, and less graphical tearing. Now let's talk about the apps. Cosmic isn't just a shell. It comes with a growing suite of native applications, all built with the same design language. There's the Cosmic Files, File Manager, Cosmic Terminal, Cosmic Text Editor, and a set of system tools that integrate beautifully into the desktop. Each app looks consistent, clean, and feels lightweight. No more mismatched toolkits or inconsistent design between apps. Customization has always been a big part of the Linux story, and Cosmic definitely embraces that. You can personalize your dock panel and workspace layout. You can change accent colors, tweak fonts, and switch themes. System76 has promised that future versions will include theme packs and layout presets so you can completely change the look and feel of your desktop in one click. But what about extensions and third-party support? Well, that's one area that's still catching up. Because Cosmic is brand new and still in its early releases, it doesn't yet have a massive ecosystem of plugins like GNOME or KDE. But that's to be expected. System76 is focusing on building a solid core experience first, fast, stable, and modern before opening it up for deep customization. If you're wondering how Cosmic compares to other desktop environments, here's where things get interesting. Compared to GNOME, Cosmic offers more flexibility right out of the box. You don't need to install extensions or tweak hidden settings to get advanced window management or a dock. It's already there, built in and polished. On the other hand, compared to KDE Plasma, Cosmic takes a more streamlined approach. They gives you endless options and settings, while Cosmic gives you just enough power to customize your workflow without overwhelming you. You could say it S the sweet spot between GNOME S simplicity and KDE's flexibility. Another major difference is philosophy. 
KDE and GNOME are long-established projects maintained by large open-source communities. While Cosmic is led primarily by one company, System 76 this means development is more centralized, but it also means features can evolve faster because there's a clear direction. For example, System76 has already shown prototypes of advanced tiling gestures, new global shortcuts, and even floating widgets that might come in future updates. Now, let's be honest, Cosmic isn't perfect. It is still considered an alpha or early beta stages depending on the distro you're rerunning. Some features might be missing and a few bugs are expected. You might see visual glitches, crashes, or missing configuration options if you install it right now. But that S part of the early experience in system, 76 is actively improving it with constant updates and community feedback. If you want to try it out, there are a few ways to do that. The easiest is to install pop underscore OS Cosmic Edition which will eventually replace the current GNOME-based POP underscore OS once Cosmic is fully stable. You can also try it on Fedora S Upcumba Cosmic Spin or manually install it from the Arch user repository if you key adventurous. Just remember it's still in development, so don't install it on your main production system yet. What makes Cosmic truly exciting isn't just what it is now, but what it represents. For the first time in years, we have a completely new desktop environment being built from scratch for Linux, not just a fork, not just a theme, but a modern native Wayland first desktop written in a secure, efficient language. That's a big milestone for open source computing. It shows that Linux desktop innovation is alive and well. We've seen KDE focus on polished GNOME push for simplicity, and now Cosmic is bringing something fresh, a blend of productivity, performance, and elegance designed for the next decade. If you've been waiting for a Linux desktop that feels modern, fast, and cohesive, Cosmic might be the one to watch. It's still early days, but the potential is huge. So, what do you think? Are you excited to try Cosmic once it's stable? Or do you prefer sticking with Plasma or GNOME? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what desktop environment you use and why. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and tap the bell icon for more Linux and open source updates. We've got more deep dives coming soon, including KDE Plasma 6.5, and maybe even a hands-on review once Cosmic reaches its first stable release. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.